an Amtrak train has derailed roughly 40 miles, 64 kilometers, south of Seattle, spilling cars onto a busy interstate and killing at least six people. A U.S. official told the Associated Press that there were many injuries and that the death count was expected to rise. The train was traveling south on a new high-speed rail route that opened on Monday when it derailed just before 8 a.m. After the derailment, one of the train's carriages was left hanging off an overpass, resting on an overturned train car below. The Pierce County Sheriff's Office said in a tweet that the derailed train had struck several cars on the interstate. Multiple motorists injured on roadway, no fatalities of motorists reported, it said. The derailment occurred just south of Tacoma in Washington state. The Seattle Times reported at least three people were killed after the train derailed. The Guardian was not able to immediately confirm the number of fatalities. There were roughly 78 passengers and five crew members on board, Amtrak said in a statement. Chris Carnes was three or four cars back from the front of the derailed train. He told the Associated Press in a brief phone interview Monday morning that he was not sure what got hit. Carnes was unhurt and is now near the medical tents set up in a median area between north and southbound Interstate 5. Several passengers were gathered at the staging area there an hour after the derailment, clad in gray blankets and using their cell phones. Amtrak said service south of Seattle was temporarily suspended but service north of Seattle would continue to operate. All southbound lanes of Interstate 5 were closed south of Joint Base Lewis McCord. Motorists were being warned to avoid the area. Officials set up a center for survivors to reunite with loved ones at DuPont City Hall, south of the crash. The cause of the derailment was not immediately clear, and the National Transportation Safety Board announced that it was sending a team to investigate, 